now I am not mapping any 3 variables to some 3 variables, I want to map dotted line segments onto dotted line segments. What is a dotted line segment? It is a geometrical object which will have multiple representation that is multiple 3 numbers representing the same vector. Okay. So, now then how do I construct such a linear function which will map which is invariant to this multiple representations of a data line segment is a question. Okay. To answer that we have to look into tensor algebra. Okay. Now, what is tensor algebra is? a tensor, a second order tensor, why this is called as a second order we will see shortly, a second order tensor is a linear mapping between two directed line segments that is if x and y are directed line segments then y equal to a times x where A is a second order tensor. Okay. Now, I want to generate representations for this linear function just like I generated representations for the vector. Okay. Now, to do that we have to understand one more product involving two vectors that is called as a tensor product. between vectors A and B is defined as A tensor product B acted upon by C is defined as B dot with C times A, where C is any vector and A tensor product B is a second order tensor. Okay. This is a definition of a second order tensor. Okay. So, this can be written as A times C equal to x where a is a tensor of product b and x in this case happens to be b dot c times a that is a vector scaled by the position of b on c. Okay. This is a second order tensor which is a special second order tensor because it is not a general second order tensor, it is an example of a second order tensor. A tensor product B is an example of a second order tensor. Okay. Now, now let me go ahead and define a general second order tensor A is written as a i j e i tensor product e j where I have to sum i equal to 1 2 3 and I have to sum j equal to 1 2 3. What this means is this a 1 1 e 1 tensor product e 1 plus a 1 2 e 1 tensor product e 2 plus a 1 3 e 1 tensor product e 3 plus a 2 1 
where this is E2 tensor product E1 plus C2 2 E2 tensor product E2 plus A2 3 E2 tensor product E3 plus A3 1 E3 tensor product E1 plus A3 2 E3 tensor product E2 plus A3 3 E3 tensor product E3 okay. This is a linear combination of nine tensor products decks and here E one, E two, E three are the orthonormal basis vectors. Okay, that is the coordinate basis that you choose to represent any other dot line segments. Okay, by the way, a tensor product. is called as dyad and a linear combination of tensor products or dyads is called as a dyadic. Okay. Now, what I am interested is how to find the components A I J. Find the components A I J. Okay. We had written y vector as A times x, right. Okay. Now, what is the component of y i? Yi is y dotted with Ei. So, I will have from here this will imply A of x dotted with Ei is Yi. From, from here this implies A of x dotted with Ei is this. Now, what is x? x I can write it as a times x j e j dotted with t i. Okay, that is how I represent x. So that will be x j scalar. So I pull it out of the equation e j dotted with e i. Okay, now if I say this is a i j, then what I get is I get this vector y i equal to this matrix times a times this vector x because this is nothing but a i j x j. I am summing up the column of the matrix with the column vector j. Okay, so, this is a valid operation matrix vector multiplication operation and hence you have this representation for a times x. Okay. In what I have done here is I have represented these components of A. What I have done here is I have represented these components of A in terms of a 3 by 3 matrix with the corresponding first index denoting the row and second index denoting the column. Okay. So, that is what I have done here when I write it like this. Okay. Now, so we find that Aij would be now we find that from this Aij is a times E j dotted with E i right that is how you find the components. So, I can write general second order tensor can be written as A times E j dotted with E i E i tensor product E j. Here I and j are dummy index because they are repeated twice on the same side of the equal to sign which means I have to sum them from 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, let us find the components of 
let us find the components of of the tensor A tensor product B okay I would apply the same rule. So, A tensor product B the i z component would be A tensor product B acted upon by E j dotted with E i. So, this is nothing but from the definition of a tensor product A B dotted with E j dotted with E i. This is nothing but A dotted with E i times B dotted with E j. Okay. This is nothing but A i B j. So, the matrix components of A when support B can be written as A 1 B 1, A 1 B 2, A 1 B 3, A 2 B 1, A 2 B 2, A 2 B 3, A 3 B 1, A 3 B 2, A 3 B 3. This is nothing but A 1, A 2, A 3 multiplied by B 1, B 2, B 3. That is if this is a 3 by 1 vector, this is a 1 by 3 vector. So, the product is the product is a 3 by 3 matrix. In other words, this is A vector times B transpose. If I view if vectors are column vector. Okay, if I view the vector means I arrange the components of a vector as a column, then this call as a column vector. So then it will be A B transpose. Okay. In contrast, a scalar product between two vectors A dot with B would be A transpose B. Here, A transpose will be 1 by 3, this is 3 by 1, and so it is a 1 by 1 scalar value. Okay. So, that is what a tensor product means. Tensor product means of two vectors it is A times B transpose. Okay. Let us move a little bit further and understand what this what this basis vector basis tensor basis mean. Okay. Now, I am interested in finding E 1 tensor product D 1. This will be 1 0 0 1 0 0. So, this is nothing but 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. Similarly, E 1 tensor product E 2 would be 1 0 0 0 1 0 which will be 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. In general E i tensor product E j means only the i j component is 1 and the rest are zeros. rest of the components are zeros. Okay. So, what does that mean? It means just like for a vector you have 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 as the basis vectors for the tensor representation one of the matrix entries around being 1 and rest of them being 0 are the basis vectors for representing the tensor. Okay. So, this forms E i tensor but E j forms the basis 
for second order tensor okay ea tensor for dj forms the basis for the second order tensor okay now finally let's look at whether any matrix is a second order tensor answer is emphatically no because it does not transform the way a tensor should transform any matrix need not it is just a 3 by 3 entry of numbers when the coordinate system changes there is no meaning as to how the components of the matrix will change for example transformation matrix Q is a matrix and it is not a second order tensor ok. So, any matrix will not be a second order tensor but second order tensors can be represented as a matrix ok one of the representation of second order tensors is a matrix uh, another representation is I can write the components of A as a 9 by 1 vector also A 1 1 A 2 2 A 3 3 A 1 2 like this I can continue as a 9 by 1 vector also the components these are mere representations of a second order tensor for convenience of calculations what is this true meaning just like a data line segment has a direction and a magnitude fixed irrespective of how you represent it there is a fixed representations for a second order tensor that is a set of matrices will form together a second order tensor in the next class what we will do is we will find the components of a stress tensor and then we will go to forward to look at how a stress tensor will transform due to changes in coordinate basis there we will study more circle wherein all the points on the circle will represent the same stress state or the same tensor which represents the stress ok. So, with this we will conclude this lecture what you have seen is we have seen that the traction in general depends upon the time uh, position vector in the space and the normal or it depends upon the time the particle that you are looking at and the normal to the cut surface that passes through that particle ok and then we went ahead and looked what a linear function is and then we went ahead and looked what a tensor algebra is how to represent a linear function of two data line segments ok thank you.